Welcome to Rootstem, and in today's video we're going to show you how to actually paint up this camouflage colour really quick and really easy. Hi right, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, in today's video we are going to be doing these six with camo cloaks. Of course these are being painted as part of the Dark Angels mass painting that I'm currently doing. And I think I've missed a bit of black but I'll correct that in a moment. Um, basically we're going to be doing some camo cloaks on these guys. We're going to be using four, about six different paints. So effectively we're going to be getting a Mechanica Standard Grey. That's what we're going to be painting the whole base of the cloak for. We're then going to go on to a, uh, a Dark Reaper, which what that's going to do is be part of the... We're going to put some splodges on some... Uh, hopefully you've seen from the thumbnail in the beginning of this video what the actual camo cloaks look like. So we're going to be using that for the dark base. Then we've got some Dawnstone, and which I'm dropping. And then, if you can see that. And then, of course, we've got some Administratum Grey as well. And that's going to be your final. And then we've got a little bit of shading. That's going to be a contrast paint. We're going to use some technical medium just to thin down some Griff Charger Grey because it's a nice dull colour. We're kind of going to be using it a little bit like a glaze uh, into the recesses to make sure that everything looks nice and shaded. So technically, the only thing you need to do to start with is crack open your Mechanica Standard Grey and basically give it a, a good, make sure that these cloaks have got a good solid base to them. Sorry, go back a step. Um, instead of Dark Reaper, go for Black. Um, I didn't realise that the actual um, the colour that Mechanica Standard Grey sometimes gets to, because I'm so used to working on top of it, is actually quite dark. Um, so we're going to go for a black. So what we're going to do, I've already done one there, is you can see here, I've got an eye stock photo, and it's basically like a, a stippled sort of pattern. Now normally you're stippling, if you're going to do something like that you should use a sponge. I'm going to be using an old brush to do some stippling simply because the um, I'm going to get more control because I don't want it to go everywhere. I've already painted up this particular model's green so I'm wanting maximum control. So we're just going to heavily stipple it in patches. Always look back at you resource you can see it's quite large patches of dark so try and get a little bit of craziness on the fringing it's good I'm just doing random patterns like I said be careful don't want things to go awry. Doing it this way you should a little bit of a grey showing through so it shouldn't be black black. Maybe just a little bit on the hood. Maybe another one there. And do that on all of them. Next up of course you're going to be doing it with the Dawnstone. We're just going to stipple again. As you can see from that one, we're going a little bit heavy. Try and get in between the black. We still want some of the Mechanica Standard Grey showing through, so we don't want to obliterate that and be careful. We don't want to have to tidy anything up later. Don't worry too much about splodging. It's all part of it. Nice. Quick, simple camouflage pattern. It should be able to quite easily replicate, regardless of skill level. That's the point. Now, stippling once more, we're going to go with uh, Administratum Grey again, trying to get the areas that's not been got, but leaving some. In the background, try and stipple it so you can get a solid colour with that nice little bit of feathering. Try 
try and cover up some more of the grave again, but again, you want to still leave some out there. You want it completely. You want that Mechanica standard grey to show through. And just be careful where you're doing it, you don't want to get paint on anything else. So now I'm just going to go a little bit off script. <laughs> I'm going to step along very, very smallly. I'm going to step along some white scar. Um, that should finish it off. I think I've gone for a palette that's too light. It's not dark enough. So I'm just going to. Sorry, too dark, not light enough. So just step along some dots. We'll get the effect that we're after. Like I said, I'm having a black under. I'm not changing that. So, very quick, very simple, but we're going to finish it off. We're going to do some contrast Griff Charge Grey uh, with some contrast technical medium. And we're going to use this like a glaze. We're just going to run it, let's get rid of that white, we're going to run it into the recesses, so down there, and we're going to try and give it a, uh, a once coat for a shade, so any folds that you find, just run this in. And that will give us a bit of shading. Do it a couple of times because, of course, it's going to be nice and thin. And then you should be done. And there you have it. Some quick, easy and effective camo cloaks. Just done with a little bit of stippling and a bit of patience. And well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you do want to see more. Hopefully up here somewhere, I'll probably put a link on to me painting all of these guys, which should have come out the week before this. Unless I've got it all mixed up, and then it's just going to be weird. Uh, but, yeah, thanks very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.